Hi, this is session two of APGH course for beginners. In this session, we will learn about creating API proxy in APGH platform. As we discussed in the previous video, APGH is a platform for developing and managing API proxies. And if you haven't watched our previous video, I would strongly recommend you to watch so that you will get basic knowledge about APGH and its benefits. For your convenience, I have included our previous video link in the description below. So, what is an API proxy? Well, an API proxy is your interface to developers that want to consume your backend services rather than having them use those services directly. They access an H API proxy that we create. With a proxy, we can offer more value added services such as security, rate limiting, quotas, fault handling, and much more. So, without any further delay, let us build and deploy our first API proxy. In order to create API proxy, first we need an Edge account. So, first let's create one. Navigate to Google Chrome browser and go to apgedge.com and click on free trial first we'll have to register it in order to get an happy gh account so let us provide the required details and provide the email id password and company year provide a student oops and the company size i'm going to select as one and country select your country and accept the terms and condition and then create the account it will create an edge account for us it is taking a bed loading it's loading it's loading okay so we would have got a email to our account so let's go on check for it and here we go we have got an email from heads so in order to activate your account click on this link So now I have logged in into Apache Edge UI. So if you could navigate to AP proxies, then by default, we have two proxies created for us. So now we want to create a new proxy. So I'm going to create a new proxy. New proxy. so this is the most common one that we use so select reverse proxy option here and click next and here we'll have to provide uh, the proxy name so i'm going to name it as 
API proxy demo. And here we'll have to provide the existing API, so which is our backend server endpoint. So if we have uh, any uh, endpoint which is available to the internet, then we can provide. Uh, for now, we can use Google's endpoint, sample endpoint, which is available. Uh, that is more. Yeah, this is the endpoint. We go. So it is a low guest. We invoke this endpoint. We are getting a low guest response from the API. So I'm going to provide this API here. So description. We can provide many tool descriptions here. This is our first. API proxy. Oops. Post API demo. And click next. And for now, uh, I'm not going to give any sort of authorization. So uh, click on this pass through because we will see uh, this uh, authorization type in our up upcoming videos, API key or what to sort of authorization stuff in our upcoming videos. For uh, now, I'm skipping those authorization types and click next. And here, uh, we don't have to do anything, so click next. And here, deployment environments, click test. So. Click on build and deploy. It will create the API proxy and it will deploy it to the test environment. So here we go. If we navigate it to the proxy editor, then we will see. This is how uh, an API edge will look. And if you could see, this is our endpoint. HTTP and HTTPS, we are both. And if we navigate to develop tab, we will have our proxy endpoints and target endpoints. So target endpoints is nothing but our backend services. Here we'll have to, uh, from here we'll have to consume backend services. And proxy endpoint is nothing but uh, the endpoint which we call from client application. So this is the proxy to our uh, target endpoints and trace. We will be able to trace our request here. So that's it. That is the trace window and performance. Also, we'll see. We can see a lot of data here. So as of now, I'm going to invoke. Our API proxy. I'm going to call this. Let's see where we get the response. Okay, here we go. We're getting the response as expected. So, this is how we can create an API proxy. And in the upcoming video, we'll see how to create product to bundle the proxies and along with that we'll see how to create access token using both two security params and that's it in this video thanks for watching and have a great day